Hello and welcome to a new video on exponential sums and integrals. I'm your host, Trader Zeta, and hopefully you're doing very, very well. This is part one, basic integral example. Okay, so first things first, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Second of all, happy holidays. And third, uh, let's go over the citation. This is a book by Alexander Inich, uh, the Riemann Zeta function, theory and applications. This is a Dover publication. Uh, I'd have to say this book um, has lasted me uh, north of 10 years, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, this book catapulted me through my number theory days, and I can't say I would be the same person without this book. So as you can see, it's quite beat up, and I've had a lot of use, so that's how I like my books, is beat up, okay? All right, now let's talk about what happens on page 56 of this book. We have this uh, exponential integral, and in fact, the absolute value of it is less than or equal to 4 times n to the negative 1. And there's two conditions. Um, f prime of x, or the derivative of fx, is greater than or equal to m, greater than uh, 0. And f prime is monotonic. Now, what does that mean, monotonic? Um, it's a special property where it's always continuously increasing or always continuously decreasing. So this would be monotonically decreasing and this would be monotonically increasing. And many a times, these types of monotonic functions are of great interest. All right, so let's now tackle the ELS. I'm not gonna derive these identities completely right here, because I have done them in other videos. If you're particularly interested, there's the Riemann hypothesis proof in ELS, and these are much uh, better covered there. But I will say that um, for the ELS, if you're familiar with it, a sub m is equal to m, and b sub n equals the euler totian function. Um, obviously, b sub n is right there. A sub m would be uh, on this side right here, would be a, a sum with a divide by you know, m factorial, and that all becomes uh, x e to the x, and so we just bring the x to the other side, and then we plug in i on, both, on all the x's, and we get our uh, very nice um, e to the ix, okay? And from uh, this right here, this, this statement right here, we can get to this using an identity or so. And then um, from this, we can get, uh, we can use this cabas and sagio cn. I'm not gonna go over the coefficients because they're just, it's just too much. Um, basically, it's, they're finite products um, involving uh, these n's and n plus ones. But it's just beyond the scope of this. This is a, a you know a relationship that's easily uh, delineated online. Now, what's going to happen when we turn this into a pure generating function form? This x to the i n comes in, and we can isolate this x to the i and all of this right here. So this is very very nice, right? This is very very nice. Uh, d uh, times n plus one all minus one. Okay, so this is all equal to the e to the ix. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this representation and we are going to plug it in for the e to the i f of x. Okay, and as you can see, you have i uh, f of x, the integral comes in because it's a definite integral. Uh, you have d n plus one minus one dx. And now you can easily notice that the i's the imaginary components can be just stripped out. And all we're left with is uh, this integral right here. My marker has run out, but that's totally okay. Uh, we have integral a to b, f of x, raised to the d times n plus one minus one. And all we really have to do in order to really look at this uh, you know, type of problem, or uh, this type of uh, setup right here, is just solve this integral. Integral a to b, f of x to this power dx. All right, so why, um, you know, why would this be particularly useful? Well, here this is, you can think about this as just a completely real integral, a real integral function. Um, if f of x is real and monotonic, it's just a really good day. All you have to do is satisfy or solve uh, that integral right there. And this, you know, I nonsense comes out and I think there's only like a few complex values they have to worry about, and uh, the whole thing uh, does pretty well. 
And then you have to take the absolute value. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like, share, and subscribe.